We're here to discuss option number four. This is on week two of our choice board. This is the math section and it is option four. It says solve by factoring and it gives you two different equations that it wants you to solve. Um, I need to talk about a couple different things first. When we are looking at the standard form of a trinomial, it is ax squared plus bx plus c. That is our standard form. That is the format that these equations should follow. Also, to note with this standard form, it is always equal to zero. So if you look at your first equation on your choice board, it does not equal zero. So we need to worry about that first. The first equation on your choice board is actually x squared minus 11x plus 19 equals negative 5. This is the exact equation that you have on your choice board. Um, we cannot start this factoring process yet until we have it equal to zero. Right now it equals negative 5. So I need to get rid of a negative 5. We can do this. One simple step. To get rid of a negative 5, to get rid of a negative 5, you would add 5 on both sides to cancel it out. Now it equals zero. And let's see, I would add this 5 to the 19 because it does not have any x's attached to it. So that would be so that would be plus 24, negative 11x, and x squared. Once you have set it equal to 0, this right here is the equation that you will be factoring. It has to be set equal to 0 first. So I'm going to go ahead and do two examples with you. The two examples that I'm going to do with you, they look exactly like the two that you have in your choice. I'm sorry, I don't know why this video keeps cutting down. I'm about to do two examples with you, so stay with me. I'm going to do them right here. The first example that looks exactly like your choice board is x squared minus 4x plus 2 equals negative 2. And like we just said, we have to set it equal to 0 first. So the first thing I have to do is cancel out that negative 2 by adding 2 to both sides. That will make it equal 0. And I have x squared minus 4x plus 4. This is the equation that I will be factoring. Now that I've set that up. So when I factor, I multiply the first term times the last term. Which gives me 4x squared. And I make my teacher. 1x times 4x, 2x times 2x, that's all my factors of 4. So let's go ahead and add them up. This one equals 5, this one equals 4. My goodness, my middle term here is a negative 4. I did not get that over here, I got positive 4. So what I need to do to get a negative is change it to a negative 2x and a negative 2x. That will give me negative 4. These are my, that I'm choosing, negative 2x, negative 2x. Bring down the plus 4, and bring down the x squared, and now I can group it. The last thing you have to do is find your GCF on both sides. I'm switching colors so you can see my different steps. Over here, I have imaginary 1 and a 2. I have to make t-charts for a 1 and a 2 and find my GCF. 1 times 1. 1 times 2, oh, would you look at that? The GCF ended up being 1. So on this side, I'm dividing by 1, but I'm also dividing by an x, because both of these terms have x's. 1 divided by 1 is 1. x squared divided by x leaves me with x. Negative 2, di negative two divided by 1 is negative 2, and x divided by x cancels. So I put it in parentheses, and the 1x goes in front, because that is what I divided by. Now let's do this side over here. A 2 and a 4. Let's make t-charts for those. Find our GCF 1 times 2, 1 times 4, 2 times 2. Oh, my GCF was 2. I will not divide by x on this side because both of them do not have x's. However, the first one is a negative, so I have to divide by a negative 2. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is positive 1. 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. Put it in parentheses, and I divide it by negative 2, so that goes in front. 
Here's your good checkpoint. Do your parentheses match? They have to match at this point. If they don't match, we did something wrong. If you did not divide by negative 2, your parentheses would be different and it would be wrong. Now you're ready to write your answer. Your answer is two parentheses. Your first answer is what you divided by, so the 1x and the negative 2. Your second answer is what's in your parentheses. If they're the same, you can go ahead and put that answer here. This is your final answer to factoring. You have went through the whole process of factoring that trinomial. I'm going to do one more example with you that looks like the second equation on your... All right, here is my second and last example that I'm doing with you for factoring. Again, I have to notice this is not set equal to zero, so the first thing you need to do is set it equal to zero. It equals a negative four, so to get rid of a negative four, I will add four on both sides. It's important, whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. This cancels out, and it leaves me with zero, so I have it equal to zero, and I'm going to add that four to the eight, because neither of them have x's, which gives me 12. So 5x squared plus 16x plus 12. This is the trinomial that you have to set it equal before you can start factoring. So now 5x squared times the last term, which is 12, I get 60x squared. Man, that's a big number. I'm going to have to make a t-chart for it. I have 1x times 60x. Two works, two times x, and three works, times 20, four works, times 15, five times 12, and lastly, six times 10. There are all my factors of 60. We need to add them up and see which one gives me the middle, which is positive 16. 1 and 60 make 61. 2 and 30 make 32. Two, 3 and 20 make 23. 4 and 15 make 19. 12 and 5 make 17. And 6 and 10 make 16. There we go. That's the one we were looking for. 6 and 10. That is what I'm choosing to split it up. A 6x and a positive 10x. I'm going to bring the rest down. Plus 12 and 5x squared. And I will put it in to group it. You are ready to start finding your GCS. On your first side, you have a 5 and a 6. We can make t-charts for a 5 and a 6. 1 times 5. 1 times 6, 2 times 3. Oh, the GCF is only a 1. I can only divide by 1. But I can also divide by x because both of these have x's. 5 divided by 1 is 5x. 6 divided by 1 is 6, and the x's cancel out. So I'm going to put parentheses and 1x in front because that is what I divided by. On this side, we have a 10 and a 12. We can make t-charts for those. 10, 12. 1 times 10, 2 times 5, 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. Our GCF ended up being a 2, so I can divide this side by 2. Not by x, both of them do not have x's. I do not have to divide by a negative because the first one's a positive. So 10 divided by 2 is 5x, 12 divided by 2 is 6. I put it in parentheses and I put the 2 in front because that's what... You put the 2 in front because that is what you divided by. You are ready to write your answer. What's in front goes in my first answer. Your parentheses should be the same. They have to be the same to write this answer. 5x plus 6. There is your final answer for factoring. There's those two examples for you. Please use this video, rewind it, pause it, watch it as many times as you need to help you with option number four, factoring.